right? And let's say, let's take a look at the at a moment for this. What do strategists do actually? Well, strategists help structure the future vision, right? They help the company define the strategy to achieve the goals they have. And they also bridge the gap between the vision and the everyday operations. And we, as Business English trainers, consultants, strategists, uh, we know that the vision is that they want to be part of this global um, knowledge economy. And they want to move forward into the organization and help the organization become a learning organization. So we know that, and we have to help them achieve that. So we need to see how to integrate the English into the corporate curriculum, into their everyday operations. I'll give you something. This is, OK, this is from one point of view, right? What um, let's say management gurus are talking about, what organizations are talking about, right? Um, economists. And now I'm going to show you, some time ago we conducted a survey um, among different organizations, asking them what they expect from their business English supplier, okay? And it's interesting because you're going to see that it matches, okay? Um, let's see, we have, they expect ability to understand their particular needs, interests, and areas of opportunities. Ability to develop a successful learning experience. Again, we have this, the learning experience. Ability to understand their businesses, right? Because, of course, this is very important. It's not the same if you are teaching at a bank or at a financial institution or if you are teaching at a manufacturing company. There are many different contexts. Learn English and they want to learn about the world in English, okay? A strategy that combines language learning with the learning of other competences needed for their jobs. So it's not just a training program, an English, a language program, let's say, okay? It comes together with other competences they need. A personalized learning strategy. This is interesting embedded learning into their day-to-day -day activities, okay? And this goes again with the idea, the concept of the learning organization, okay? That is an organization that taps into the daily situations in which they have for learning, okay? And in this role you have, it's not only the people in charge of human resources or human capital that are involved in designing these strategies, not everybody is involved. And they are also looking for a facilitator or a teacher or a trainer with coaching skills. Okay? So we, be, we look at uh, the context in which we live and we move. Here we have what our clients expect from us. And so what we do is we try to offer our clients the possibility of being immersed in English. Okay, you have to remember, again, that here we are in a Spanish-speaking country, surrounded by mostly Spanish-speaking countries and Portuguese-speaking countries like Brazil. But it's not that we have, they need English to participate in these global teams, but it's not that they travel just to Argentina and they can practice their Spanish, so their English, sorry. So they need, actually, being immersed in English so that they can tap into all those informal learning opportunities they have while you are providing them a safe environment where they can take risks, where they can freely ask questions and doubts and overcome the language barrier. Earlier today, Candy uh, Van Ols was talking about gaining confidence. Okay, this is very important. They need to gain confidence because they have to participate in these teams with very knowledgeable people from all around the world. 
and sometimes they their knowledge of certain areas is amazing, but they need to convey that to transmit that in English. So they need to overcome that barrier of the language and, and they need to gain confidence in order to be able to transmit that knowledge into English. Okay, in English, sorry. Well, so nowadays uh, technology is a friend that we have in order to be able to create all these learning environments for them. Um, there are, in this conference, there are many talks about um, virtual environments, so using technology for business people. Karen Silvester talked about early this morning about blogging and chatting in business contexts. Marjorie Rosenberg also about blended learning. I know at this moment Helen Strong is delivering a presentation about using social media. Tomorrow, Anne Hutchinson will deliver another conference, another talk, sorry, in this conference about web tools. Um, well, there are many platforms and things that are being used and people are explaining them. So, but I want to show you what we do more or less. Okay. Okay, here we have. Last year, uh, uh, the basic talk, I showed, I presented uh, the platform and the virtual environment we use and the different tools it has. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you just roughly. Um, we use yeah, platforms and virtual environments to provide our clients with a network of people with similar interests or concerns. Uh, through this platform, they can chat with facilitators or they can chat among themselves to clarify, do clarify doubts, ask questions, and this is very important because maybe they are, I don't know, preparing something or they are working on something and they need something at that moment Well, they can chat, they can ask, okay, how can I say this or somebody told me this, so it's very helpful for them, they, it's when they need it, they have it, right? Um, they can exchange ideas, information through forums, right? Maybe they post something, they post a question, or they post uh, something interesting. People comment on that, and everything is in English, and we are monitoring that platform. So it really helps them be immersed in this English environment. Uh, they can share links, documents, and videos related to their area of expertise. We also upload, um, I know, talks, videos, documents, and tell them that maybe because we know the area in which they are and if they need that and can be useful for them, to get familiar with the vocabulary, the expressions that people use. Right, well, of course, it has a calendar, and there we use it to fix events we hold together, like virtual meetings, conferences, to help them develop confidence in English and be able to change ideas in English. There are workspaces, and there you can start projects. And so you create these teams to participate and to create projects in English. And this is something they have to do in real life as well, so it's very useful for them. So what, and we also have virtual conference rooms. And here we hold meetings, we discuss projects, proposals. And this is like it provides a collaborative environment for learning. And they can enter there whenever they want, when they need it. And the experience uh, has been excellent, actually. It's really helpful for them, for our learners, right? Besides that, uh, we also other activities we do, simulations, okay, and we carry out simulations either at their organization with all the people involved there or maybe at our premises inviting clients from different organizations and these simulations, actually these situations force participants to synthesize and integrate what they know and make actual decisions, right, based on the situation presented. So it's uh, been very, very helpful for them. Uh, actually, it offers our clients the opportunity to experience the outcomes 
there are exchanges in English, but in a safe environment. Okay, this is safe for them so they can really practice before going to real life, okay, in which they have to participate in, in all these other events in English. And it's not only it's not that they only have to participate, they have to generate knowledge together with the other ones. Right? So we provide these opportunities and actually the experience again with this, at the beginning sometimes it's difficult for people to participate and then once they do it they really feel the accomplishment. Uh, they start overcoming the barriers they have, they start uh, gaining confidence and uh, taking more risk and in, in that way they start improving their communication in English. The communication about maybe very uh, important issues, okay? And well, I've been talking about organizational level and then when you go to the personal level, okay, maybe you, you help one person, one to one, uh, I would say that here our role is more similar to that of a coach, okay?